Hello everyone, uh, Dogman here, uh, or I mean uh, Matt Latham, director of the Ramsey Library. Happen to be in my Dogman outfit. I thought I would do a little library uh, theme uh, costuming for today's installment. So I uh, hope you enjoy that. If you don't know Dogman, it's a series of children's books that are popular with like boys 8 to 12. Lots of people, but that's your target group. Uh, and so this is one of the costumes I've used in the library. Anyway, today what I want to talk to you about is content that's available on our Hoopla service, which is a streaming service on our digital collections page, or you can download the Hoopla app. Just a reminder, it has ebooks, audiobooks, movies, TV, music, comics, uh, audiobooks. Can I say audiobooks? Sure. Uh, so it has all kinds of different content, um, and it's really a varied resource, so we want to try to give you some helpful videos and guidance to try to find some good content. Today what I want to talk to you about is some of my favorite documentaries that are on Hoopla. Hoopla actually, this is one of its strengths actually in terms of movies and, and TV. It has a ton of great documentaries. Um, and I'm going to give you a couple of my favorite picks um, and give you like a little extra after that. But there's really a wealth of, of um, documentaries on there. So um, this is just a taste of some of the options that are available. These are great for... Uh, you know, binge watching while at home. There's really all kinds of subjects, a diverse array. So some of my favorite documentaries all time are on Hoopla. So let's take a look at my first pick. My first pick is Jiru Dreams of Sushi. Uh, this is a really interesting one. Um, a couple years ago, 2012, um, it's a documentary on a particular sushi shop, sushi shop in Tokyo. Uh, that is extremely exclusive. It's run by this family that's had it for generations. Only 10 people see, see at a time. It's considered maybe the best sushi shop in the world. And it's very traditional in the way it runs and the way the family has run the business. Um, and it's really fascinating the way like it talks about uh, training that each of the family members has to go through, like decades of work to get to this perfection level that they, they like with their uh, sushi and why it's so renowned in the world. Um, you travel to the Tokyo fish market and get to see what that's all about. It's very fascinating. It's a really interesting story um, about something I didn't know much about and um, it's it won m many awards at the time and I think it's very entertaining and if you like food it's really interesting so you'll you'll really dig it if you like food and cooking. So Jiro Dreams of Sushi is a great pick uh, to start out with. Next, um, this one I have not seen actually, but is, I'm going to be seeing it soon, is Being Elmo, A Puppeteer's Journey. This one is um, follows the life of Kevin Clash, um, who is the person behind uh, the Elmo create uh, character. Uh, he's the voice, and he also is the puppeteer, I believe. And it's narrated by Whoopi Goldberg, and you get to see about uh, creating Elmo, about the puppeteer, about... The, you know his process in creating uh, the character but also you get to look at the Jim Henson studio and uh, you get to see all that behind the scenes stuff so it's a really good movie really fascinating um, I'm really looking forward to it it's been on my list for a little while that one's from 2011 next uh, we have one that maybe a lot of people saw um, but if you haven't gotten a chance this is a great time to look at it uh, this one's Blackfish from 2013 uh, tells the story of uh, killer whales specifically ones that are in captivity and how that impacts them um, and what happened to a specific um, uh, orca in captivity and what happened to the trainers and things like that so it is uh, a heavy documentary it's very serious um, very well made um, stirred up a bit of controversy at the time so um, but it's very well made and I think uh, it's definitely a recommended title for you um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff so Blackfish really good one next is one more that I haven't seen but again it's on my list uh, this one's Amy which is from 2015, story, tells the story of Amy Winehouse. Uh, her life, her times, her rise to success and her downfall, um, and her untimely young demise, obviously. So um, it won many awards, very well uh, respected. 
um, and an interesting character and biopic to be sure. So this is another one that is, again, an acclaimed documentary available on Hoopla right now. Take a look at that one. Next, uh, this is from one of my favorite documentary uh, filmmakers. Um, and you might have seen him in like pop up in random places. He also did, uh, you know, traditional films like fiction films uh, in earlier in his career. But he's kind of trans, you know, transitioned to more documentaries in the later years. Uh, Werner Herzog, uh, and the title this time is Grizzly Man. Uh, this one is from 2005 and tells the story of um, a um, wildlife expert or amateur expert and. Um, preservationist named Timothy Treadwell, who lived among grizzlies in the wild for 13 years. Um, and uh, certainly there's, you may, I won't spoil things, but you may know the story if you don't. Uh, again, this is a very serious, um, you know, kind of heavy uh, documentary, um, but it's also interesting, lots of beautiful scenery um, and kind of harrowing story as well. So um, it's a great film and I really love this director. Um, Unfortunately, there's not a ton from this director on Hoopla. Some of my favorites are Cave of Forgotten Dreams and Encounters at the End of the World. Those are two magnificent films. Um, but there is one more that I would recommend that uh, from Werner Herzog, uh, available on Hoopla. One of his lesser-known films called Happy People. This one came out in 2013, and it, uh, let's say, it's described as A Year in the Taiga follows one of the Siberian trappers through all four seasons of the year to tell the story of culture virtually untouched by modernity. Now this one's a very thoughtful, very slow moving kind of documentary, um, as you can kind of tell from the subject matter. Um, but it does, you know, I think with Werner Herzog, he really transfers you into worlds that are very different than your personal experience. And this one is certainly outside that realm. It really does feel like a time unto its own uh, with this uh, trapper that he um, that he follows. And it's really a fascinating story, beautiful scenery, really interesting. You transported completely into, you know, another world, the taiga and in the, in the, you know, in the far reaches of Siberian forests. Um, really interesting, again, slow moving. Um, so you have to be, you know, in the kind of right mood for it, but it really is an interesting film, and uh, I really, I really enjoyed this one too. So that's the other Werner Herzog available on Hoopla. Um, so our next one is probably the heaviest documentary on this list, almost for sure. Um, and but it is truly like no other documentary I've ever seen. Um, this one's called The Act of Killing. And it's from 2013, and here, I'll give you the description. This inventive documentary examines a country where death squad leaders are celebrated as heroes, challenging them to reenact their mass killings in the style of the movies they love. And that sounds like a crazy thing, um, and it, it, it kind of is. Um, but the filmmaker, you know, in this area, in this place, uh, was is able to interview people who have committed just you know atrocities really and to to just hear and listen to people who have done those sorts of things and what goes through the mind of someone who has committed acts like this um again it is not a pleasant documentary it is not something that's an easy subject to be sure but it's something like i've never seen before and it is absolutely fascinating um it's it won many awards and again it's about a harrowing thing. It's a, you know, a very difficult subject matter. So only watch it if you're in that headspace, which I'm not sure what that headspace is. Um, but it is like no other documentary that I've ever seen. So it's worth a watch. And it's worth a watch, I feel like, in the sense that, you know, to try to understand, like, if it's possible, like, what, who is that kind of person? And what creates that kind of person? And really, in some ways, you know, is it, you know, comes back to like a, an environmental thing or, you know, is that person created because of circumstance? Um, and and how does that impact their psyche? So very fascinating documentary. I really recommend it. But again, only when you're prepared to watch that kind of thing. My last one on the list, I'm going to give you one more and then I'll kind of give a, a quick list of some other ones. Um, this one I really, really like. Um, again, 
I like a lot of the, all these ones. <laughs> this one is like totally different than some of the others. It is uh, a serious subject. It's 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 a dark thing. It's and you'll see it's literally dark, um, but it's also just so well made and it's got actually an incredible soundtrack. This one's called Dark Days and it's from 2000. Um, and so I'll give you the description because it really is fascinating and something that you may not have known exists. Uh, Dark Days explores the su surprisingly domestic subterranean world of homeless community, of a homeless community living in a train tunnel beneath New York City. Through stories heartbreaking and hilarious, tunnel dwellers reveal their reasons for taking refuge and their struggle to survive underground. Um, and it, it really is, it's both of those things, like they said, it's, it's harrowing, it's, it's heartbreaking, but there are some funny parts there are some you know just absurd it is absurd um and the whole thing i mean they actually the filmmakers go into those areas and i believe that this was you know abandoned tunnels below tunnels that currently exist so like these are places that are not visited are not you know looked upon by anyone at all other than these group that live there and they live essentially in darkness um with some other with some things like they've been able to get electricity you know in some ways or maybe they've made some arrangements but um it is just like something you've never seen and uh the soundtrack is really interesting uh from dj shadow um really a fascinating um story and a great soundtrack um again very interesting uh and again a world that uh, I think, again, for me, I like documentaries that really transport you in a world that's totally different, and this one, of course, too, is very different, it's something you probably didn't know existed, I didn't at the time, uh, and something that's, um, you know, very interesting, and in it's obviously many ways heartbreaking, so definitely a good one to watch, Dark Days, take a look at that. Uh, and, you know, I'll wrap up today with just talking about uh, one other thing that is available on Hoopla, Hoopla actually has, and I flip my page of other things to look at, they have um, a ton of documentaries and shorts and things uh, from PBS, and specifically from the American Experience series, which, if you don't know, it's a series of documentaries, short documentaries that's been going on for several decades now through PBS, and they really have wonderful material on there um, on all kinds of different subjects you know american experience was all about american topics but then the greater pbs portion has tons of other things as well so there's really a wealth of stuff on all kinds of topics from pbs and american experience so if you search for either of those terms in hoopla you'll come up with a ton of different stuff uh, and also i think it ties in in many ways it does is ken burns series so most of the ken burns wonderful documentary series that he's produced are all available on hoopla just to give you a quick snapshot, there are literally dozens of titles, um, but this will keep you busy for a long time. So some of the Ken Burns ones that are available are Jazz, Prohibition, which is, I again, I've watched all these, they're really wonderful. The War, which is about World War II, uh, Vietnam War, the Civil War, the Roosevelt, which is one of my favorites, the National Parks, um, let's see, New York, which is, a, I just finished... I had watched part of it for before, just finished it. Really fascinating. And if you, you know, living in this area, if you, you know, grew up with New York and, and those stories, it's really interesting to watch. You get a lot of great history and background on the city and the people. Uh, it's a several-part series. Um, and finally, uh, the Central Park Five is one of his shorter series. And it's about a topic that's much more recent than many of the other ones he's done. But it's really well made. And it's about... Central Park Five, which were people, the, several uh, young men who were accused of murder and um, or rape, and um, turns out they were not guilty, and just the whole atmosphere and society that ended up creating this guilty verdict, and and what happened surrounding that inter incident, which uh, again very fascinating, talks really about American culture and experience. So take a look at that one, um, and just some other quick ones that would be interesting. There's one called African Americans. That's from uh, Dr. Henry Louis Gates. He is a very prominent African American scholar uh, or African American studies scholar, um, and he has produced this wonderful series on the history of African Americans, um, all the way back to the beginning of slavery through current men, modern times, um, and it really 
is a fantastic series, traces and does all kinds of things. One of those all-encompassing series that uh, I personally really like. So take a look at that one, and just some other I just some other topics that have are from PBS on sh small shorts or something. There's one on vaccines, which might be an interesting topic at the moment. There's one on the Ebola outbreak. Again, another interesting topic for the moment. Uh, there's ones on Walt Disney, which I'm watching now. Very good. Um, Grand Central Station and Penn Station, the creation of them. Very fascinating stories on both of those. Uh, there's ones on, uh, let's see, Slavery, Robert E. Lee, Coney Island, uh, Jackie Robinson, The Big Burn, uh, which is about uh, large forest fires that happened in the early uh, 20th century. All right, um, take care. JFK, the Dust Bowl, all kinds of different things. So there are really a ton to look at. So I highly recommend those. If you're looking for content to watch and to uh, get you through some of this time at home, Hoopla has a wealth of documentaries and uh, PBS uh, material for you. So I hope that you enjoy some of those. Thanks for tuning in and listening. And uh, I will hopefully see you next time with some more recommendations.